Hey, Vital Community. Uh, Jesus, I haven't seen you since May. It's been a while. Uh, uh, for those who don't, I just need a refresher of who I am. <laughs> or uh, for those who are new to my channel or just me. Uh, I, it's Jesse James uh, and I'm back for a vinyl update and I hope all is well. I missed you vinyl community. Actually, I really did. Um, yeah, uh, I don't want to tell any, just talk about my life or anything. I just want to go straight to the records. But before I go to the records, uh, I wanted to just name drop, uh, just do a name dropping thing. First and foremost, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, my VC brothers in arms, uh, Ryan Dye from Maryland, uh, Remo from Switzerland. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for just being there and supportive of all the things I did, I do, uh, and just, uh, you know, accepting me with open arms and just, uh, just friendship. And it just really means a lot. And I just, no other way to just tell you, and just tell you in person, just like this. So yeah, I just value just this, you know, this brotherhood we have, and it really means a lot. That's why the VC is a great place. Also, um, who else did I want? Uh, oh yeah, uh, um, Guillaume Galibert from France, uh, my VC bro. Just wanted to say uh, congratulations on getting accepted to uh, the University of Georgia, which is, dude, that is fucking awesome. Like. You totally deserve it, and I'm really, really proud of you, and I wish you nothing but the best, uh, Guillaume. Really proud of you. Love you, Ben. Love you. And uh, I wanted to give a name drop to two other people who I don't know personally, but the first one, uh, who I only recently discovered, uh, was a member of the VC, and I've been kind of a uh, big fan of him. Uh, but um, Mike Seatown, um, he's pretty much responsible for just bringing me back and inspired me to sit down and make a video of showing my records because there is nothing cooler, I realized lately, that there's nothing cooler th than just showing records uh, to people who are as enthusiastic as you and that just care about music and that is just so awesome to share and that's why, again, the vinyl community is an awesome, awesome place and I just want to say thank you, Mike, uh, if you're watching, Mike. Uh, for kind of re-inspiring me to go back to this, uh, just doing videos um, on YouTube, just to sh you know showing my records and just showing uh, my passion for music. Uh, the other person I just wanted to name drop, I, uh, name drop again. I don't uh, know you personally, but uh, a lot of you may know him, uh, Anthony Fantano, uh, Needle Drop. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you so much for uh, just. Uh, well, basically, um, he shared um, an album I, I did with my bandmate Reggie. He shared it on his Tumblr, and that just took us by storm. It was just the most surprising thing. Uh, it happened about last week, and just I was flabbergasted the whole day. Couldn't couldn't even concentrate on anything I was doing that day. It was just amazing just to have him, who is uh, who I really really respect as uh, just a passionate music enthusiast and reviewer. You know, I'm a big fan of his channel, uh, The Needle Drop, but just having him share my album, uh, well, my album with Reggie was just, dude, that was just, just fucking insane. So uh, I hope <laughs> that would maybe inspire you to give um, the, um, the EP a listen, uh, which is, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't get into detail about the EP, but Reggie and I, my bandmate, uh, we are in a band called Plast Down, uh, which is a hardcore screamo metalcore. I don't know what you want to call it. We released an EP on Christmas Day, and I guess now it's only been recently getting buzzed because of uh, Ryan. Da uh, sorry, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Anthony's uh, post. And again, Anthony, for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And Dude, that's, I'm just speechless, what you did. So I'm gonna go straight to the records. I have five records to show. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I promise you guys that I'll make more videos. Um, hopefully, maybe my next video will be next week, but um, that's why I'm gonna split up my the, the records that I bought. So, you know, five each video. So I'll start with the first one, um, Flying Lotus. Uh, a lot of you may be familiar with him. This is his latest record, You're Dead. Uh, which remains to be one of my favorites from last year's, uh, you know, re album releases. 
uh, this is fucking amazing. Uh, for those who don't know, Frank Lotus is a hip hop producer, uh, just extremely intricate, unique, and just very colorful. He has a very, very just precise and just, uh, just God, the kind of cinematic approach to making uh, beats. And what I really like about him too is that visually, uh, he works as hard sonically as visually. Uh, which is you can see in this really beautiful package. I don't know if you can see the very kind of glossy uh, holographic details in the, pa in the packaging, which is, uh, you know, why vinyl is so awesome. It's because you can see in full detail all this little intricate artwork, which uh, really goes well with the album, in my opinion. So I'll show you these inner sleeves. I wouldn't say um, Your Dead is my favorite from Flying Lotus, although it's very, very, very good. Uh, I'd say Cosmogram is my favorite so far, but um, just in terms of production, as a producer myself, uh, Flying Lotus just blows my mind and just how, how does he even do that with his software? Whatever software he uses, I think he might be using Ableton Live, but God damn, like, I'm so jealous because it's so colorful and there's so much textures and there's so much usage of just uh, stereophonic technology in his music that I'm just mad jealous of how goddamn just cinematic it sounds. It's amazing. From songs like um, Never Catch Me, which features um, Kendrick Lamar, extremely good. Just uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar's flow there is just, you know, unmatchable. But by far my favorite song of the album is uh, uh, Coronas Terminator, which has a really, really killer bass line. Uh, and all together, it's just very like a moody, haunting track with really haunting vocals. That's actually one of my all time favorite um, kind of Flying Lotus tracks so far. And it's really the song that shines in this album. It's more very jazz, jazz influenced, uh, kind of avant-garde jazz, but uh, it's really good. It's just in terms of production, this is just very, very uh, impressive, and it's definitely like a milestone in hip hop production in general. So check it out. Check it out. Uh, second record, um, Space Goes Perp, uh, Mystery. Uh, sorry, Mysterious Funk. Space Goes Perp is a young rapper slash producer, more of a producer, because I would say rapping wise, he is meh. You know, he's produced, uh, he's mostly known for producing tracks for ASAP Rocky until the kind of feud with the ASAP mob and the, the Raider clan, which is uh, his mob. They had a feud together and I'm not sure if it's even, you know, they've cut the beef already, but uh, his his solo stuff is actually really good. Like this album, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I mean, rapping wise, like I said, he, he has a very kind of generic... Uh, uh, flow and it's not the most impressive but in beat wise I think um, Space Goes Purp is definitely someone to kind of listen to and he's very unique in his approach to hip-hop personally I think he kind of blends really well um, hip uh, just like a new school hip-hop with old school hip-hop obviously with a new school hip-hop he maintains these uh, you know, the very bassy uh, very modern sounding kicks and 808s and very trappy hi-hats but uh, what I mean by the old school hip hop, he uh, you know he, he integrates this very moody, almost hardcore hip hop type vibe, very horrorcore influenced in some way, uh, which is I don't know how to explain it, but he even samples like some really scary, weird um, sounds from horror movies, which which in my opinion seems like from horror movies, but uh, just listen to it. This album is very interesting. I mean, very moody, dark beats with you know a generic flow but just listen to the beats in general it's it's check this out it's very good next one is my uh, one of my all-time favorite eps uh this is from the super group super duo uh tonight which uh, consists of uh, scottish producer uh hudson mohawk and um montreal producer which is uh, you know my hometown represent lunas a quick anecdote uh i i've met him a few times he we actually used to be neighbors because we we lived in the same uh, city, uh, and I knew him as a dancer more than uh, you know, hip hop producer. I never actually knew that he he produced music on the side, and uh, you know, just seeing him, his career kind of you know, going well so far, it's just really really great. And you know, if ever you're watching Ludus, like really really happy for what you're 
kind of your career is bringing you now because I look up to you in terms of production and as a person too because you're actually you you're you know a very smart kind of artist and uh, but just in terms of uh, you know hip hop and rap music I think you bring something new to the table and it's very unique uh, you bring the cool in the genre so yeah this is this EP is straight up banger a uh, very very catchy very very fun trap music but uh, I think it's a very unique trap it's it's self-aware almost it's different trap music like I could say it's not the very generic you know festival party trap that everyone like everyone can make as long as they have fruity loops this is very unique banging banging music like you need a extremely big kind of um, sound system to really get the full out of this and but uh, you know it's just 15 minutes of madness and fun you know just very colorful um, heavy banging bass music it's one of my favorite EPs of all time and you should really check it out now we're gonna move to genres uh, we move to the power violence band Loma Prieta one of my all-time favorite bands uh, for those who don't know, Power Violence is basically hardcore, noise, metal, all, you know, thrown into a blender. And this is their, uh, one of their albums, Lifeless, which, to be honest, is my least favorite of their discography, but it's still a damn solid album. They haven't released anything from their discography that is unimpressive. Everything they do is just an evolution of itself. They are just one of the most creative outside of the box thinkers in the um, hardcore uh, scene. Uh, they're from the Bay Area in uh, San Francisco. So good, so, so, so good. Um, seriously, check them out. Uh, if I were to recommend, if you were to go into this band, the, the record I would recommend would probably be the um, uh, their latest one, IV, which is definitely the more accessible record. And production-wise, it's uh, especially for their kind of music, it's just so abrasive and so loud and noisy. It's definitely their best produced. But uh, I think personally, my favorite record would, of theirs would be uh, uh, Dark Mountain, which is was released in 2009. I have generally a more a attraction towards like thematic or conceptual albums, which I think. Uh, Dark Mountain was, which is why it attracted me. I mean, production-wise, it wasn't as great as IV, but it's definitely my favorite album. But if you want to get into it, definitely listen to IV first. Uh, this is a killer band. Like, ugh, listen to it. I'm seeing them live actually with my bandmate um, on May, and I'm super excited because it's gonna be the first time when I see them. And who knows? Maybe I'll be part of the mosh pit. Maybe not. We'll see how intense it gets. And going to the last record, I just want to say disclaimer, it's a very graphic album cover. You're warned, you have three seconds, two, one, uh, here you go. This is uh, Pharmacon's uh, latest record, uh, it's called uh, Bestial Burden. I actually haven't even listened to it yet, but I bought it because I know I'm going to enjoy it. I really, really digged her first LP, uh, Abandon, I think was the name, uh, showed it, uh, you know, videos ago. Uh, so good. This is actually Power Electronics, which is kind of electronic, avant-garde-ish, experimental, droney, um, ambient, just loud, scary, fucking scary music. Just, uh, just brutal. Just like, it's basically what the mind of an insane person sounds like. A, a murderer, a murderer sounds like. It's just, just... Jesus, it's fucking scary, but it's so good. And I'm talking about her first LP, because I haven't even listened to this yet. I really recommend uh, her. She's actually a uh, Pharmacon, sorry, I didn't mention, is the moniker of uh, Margaret Shardit, if that's pronounced right. Uh, female artist. Uh, she is hella scary. Like, uh, I really, really appreciate it. She's just like insane artistically. And I mean that in the best way, because her music is so striking but so damn good i can't i can't recommend her enough actually so uh i'm looking forward to listening to the to, to this but you know just look at her artwork i mean obviously not for everyone but i wouldn't say i particularly enjoy this artwork uh but uh i mean at least i appreciate it and i can see why it just gets more intense like um her first album cover was her with like maggots on her legs 
Now this is just a step up for sure. Now I wonder what the next record is going to be. Uh, really looking forward to this. So, god damn, those are the five records and I probably went overboard with time. Feels good to be back on camera. Uh, a little bit shy. I kind of need to garner back that um, it, kind of my uh, charisma and you know enthusiasm on camera, but. It's hard to do that, especially since May, but I mean, thanks again for watching. It really, really means a lot. Uh, I'm going to try to make videos more consistently. Hopefully next week you'll see another record, a vinyl update, Broken Vinyl episode, uh, showing another five records. But for now, I'll just leave you with saying thank you for watching. Uh, and maybe please listen to uh, uh, the EP, the Plastom EP that uh, my bandmate and I released on Christmas Day, which was, you know, gratefully shared by Fantano. It's good, I promise, it's, it's a good album, not gonna lie. But thanks again for watching, and keep on digging, and keep on spinning.